Hey, students and families, welcome to our devotional series called Worship Over Worries. Uh, we hope this is an encouragement to you, so enjoy. Good morning, everyone. I'm Michael Dutcher. I'm the worship leader here at Carolina Forest. Uh, and today I, I have a, a quick little devotional for us to go through. I'm going to read through just a couple verses of Psalm 73. It's a psalm of Asaph. Um, so verses 16 and 17 I specifically want to talk about today. Uh, you know, he says, But when I thought how to understand this, it seemed to me a wearisome task. Until I went into the sanctuary of God, then I discerned therein. So a little bit of context of what he's saying is, before this, he found himself struggling with envy and trying to understand why wicked people are so prosperous. And it seems like, they're rich and they have everything and he found himself struggling with envying their lives. He seems like nothing seems to go wrong for them. They're, these wicked people have everything that go that looks so great in their lives. Um, and so for these verses, he says, when I thought how to understand this, it seemed a wearisome, a burdensome task until I went into the sanctuary of God, until I went into the presence of God then I discern their end. So when he allowed God to change his perspective and outlook on what he was thinking about before. Now, this is pretty interesting because I know a lot of us can probably even right now be struggling with worry, fear, doubt, um, and a lot of stress. And we very often ask ourselves or ask God, why? Why is this happening? Why? Um, we might even be asking the similar things in this verse. Why does it seem like all the rich people in the world right now have nothing going wrong and here I am struggling and we're trying to understand these same things. But we, through the blood of Christ, um, have direct access to God. Have direct access to the sanctuary of God, to the presence of God. And what we can do through His Word is, and through prayer is go to Him and He can change our perspective and change our outlook on all these things that we worry about. Now what this verse is not saying is when I went into the sanctuary of God, I understood everything I've ever, ever, ever wanted to understand and he answered every why question that I've ever had. That's not what it's saying here. Um, but for this particular situation, I think it's great because God did give him another outlook and another understanding. And so what it goes on to say is Truly, you set them in slippery places and you make them fall to ruin. I, I have seen and understand that you bring them to an end and it does not end well for them. So I don't know why I was envious of them. Now I understand and now my perspective and my outlook has changed. I, I like uh, the Passion Translation. Um, it says, when I tried to understand it all, I just couldn't. It was too puzzling, too much of a riddle to me, which I think is putting it lightly. It was actually very, really wearisome when he was trying to understand it. Uh, but then one day, I was brought into the sanctuaries of God, and in the light of glory, my distorted perspective vanished. Then I understood that the destiny of the wicked was near. And so we know that at James 1.5 says, if any of you lacks wisdom, then go to God and ask for it, and he gives generously. So if I think it's just very timely for the season that we're in right now of maybe we need some wisdom and understanding of what is going on right now. And through the blood of Christ, we can go through prayer, through the word, straight to God and seek wisdom and seek understanding and allow the presence of God to shift our perspective from a negative complaining outlook to one that has a, a better view of the big picture of God is sovereign. He's in control. He's got a plan. He loves us. He is with us right here where we are. He holds our hand and guides us every step of the way. But we have to go to him to, to see that and to understand that. We have to go into the sanctuary of God. We have to go into his presence to understand that. It's not just going to come to us on its own. So I want to encourage you today, if you're struggling with doubt, worry, fear, or whatever it may be, 
Um, I struggled with those things a lot myself. And so, thankfully, we can go straight to our Father. We can go straight to God with all of that. And through prayer, through His Word, through fasting, our perspective and our outlook can, can change and can become better. So I'm going to close this in prayer. I hope that's encouraging to you. Um, yeah. Father, we, we praise you today, God. We thank you for providing a way for us. We thank you for being accessible to us. We thank you that we can come straight to you with every struggle, worry, doubt, and fear that we have. And you comfort us, you strengthen us, you give us hope, you give us joy, you give us peace, you give us wisdom and understanding and a new perspective and a new outlook. So God, help us shift our attitudes from complaining and worry to hope, to joy, to love. And as always, God, let us be on the lookout for opportunities to share this hope that we have with those around us. God, we love you, we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. So we hope you go have a good day, have a good weekend, and uh, we'll see you later.